أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء والطارق وما أدراك ما الطارق النجم الثاقب رب شح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل الأقدة من لساني يفكه قول أمين رب Generally, when we think of the universe, we think of images because we know about the universe through light. But however, uh, what is very interesting is we're going to look at that the Qur'an also tells us that you can know the universe around you uh, through sound. So this is one important thing. So the Qur'an is talking about sounds in the universe. Even if you take, for example, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُسَبِّهُ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Everything in the heavens and the earth is in tasbih of Allah. Of course, that it gives us a metaphorical image of a sound. So, the word we are looking at specifically is the word tariq. Okay, so وَالسَّمَاءِ وَالطَّارِقِ And then again you find this word, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الطَّارِقِ and then the definition of what it is, an najmu thaqib. So by the sky and tariq. Okay? And we're going to look at the meanings of the word tariq in a second. Wa ma adraqam al tariq. And what can make you understand what is tariq? Okay? It doesn't say uh, about ilm. It says adraq. What can make you realize? Meaning realize in terms of its significance. Just like when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, um, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ You have the knowledge of Laylatul Qadr, but you don't have the understanding of the significance uh, and the importance of Laylatul Qadr. Uh, so in the same way, by the sky, Allah says, by the sky in the singular form, وَالطَّارِقُ Now, the sky being in the singular form is very interesting because uh, if anyone who studies science and then looks at Qur'an it, you know, generally the Quran says samawat, which is heavens in the plural. Sama is singular, and so a sama can be uh, have two meanings uh, from the linguistic perspective. A sama is the whole of the sevens as seen as one. Okay, a sama, and uh, the other meaning is that this universe, the lowest universe, a sama ad dunya. Uh, the the universe as we know it, this asama, this is the first one, the singular asama, the singular universe as we know it, and on top of that are six other layers, as you know when Allah says samawat, sabah uh, samawat in tibaqa, that there are seven layers uh, of skies or heavens on top of one another, but the lowest one is asama ad dunya. So when it's in the singular form, it's generally referring to the universe that we live in. That we are aware of, sama it was sama it by the sky and its tariq. Okay, the general meaning of the word tariq. If you come over here and look at the translation, you will see Allah says, "I swear by the sky and the night comer." Tariq is, uh, and what is the night comer? And then the night comer is actually explained in uh, ayah number three, a star of piercing brightness. Okay, thaqib is a movement of a star of pierce uh, star of piercing uh, is a particular star that has piercing brightness okay and then in the middle Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and what will make you understand what this at-tariq is so wama was sama'i wa tariq by the sky and the tariq the night comer why because you see the uh, tariq one of the meanings is the night comer but however if we just move to Google Translate, just so that you have a better understanding. So I just put down uh, the word knocking, because uh, actually, if you look over here, you see the word tariq, or taraqa, and the derivatives of the meaning of taraqa are taraqa, which means to knock, knocking, percussion, beating, rap, pounding. The other word qara'a, beating, ringing. This is the word most of the scientists nowadays are using is the sound of ringing is what they call it. Knocking, squash, banging, rapping. Okay. And then darab, darab, uh, uh, a type of darab, a thump, a chump, a bounce, uh, a knocking. Uh, and then as you can see the different meanings there. So, tariq is the doer of these nouns. Okay. And so, um, 
So was samai wa tariq by the night that is ringing, or by the uh, by the night and by its ringer, or by the night or its knocker, and all of those meanings would fit in here. Was samai wa tariq like it is uh, it is the fa'il here, the doer. So, and what will make you understand what is a tariq? It is a piercing, uh, bright star. So, is there a star that is knocking? in the universe is the question and so this is what I would like to bring to your attention Th there are two things number one that the universe is making sounds it's not just images and the Quran is clear about this by the word Tariq okay why by the way let me also clarify why does the, the scholars uh, who didn't perhaps not know obviously so much about the space why did they translate it as the nightcomer because when the nightcomer comes what does he do he knocks on the door, so the knocker is the one who uh, is the one who's coming at night and knocking on the door. So the the traditional translation, from what the scholars understood, was, "I swear by the sky and by the nightcomer." But it's not just; it doesn't actually mean nightcomer in its linguistic sense. In its linguistic sense, it probably didn't make too much of a sense to the early mufassirin because it would mean by the sky and its knocking or by the sky and its knocker and that was something that they didn't understand and they had to interpret so I will just have you listen to uh, these two talks about how the universe makes sound and also about how uh, there there is a particular star called the pulsar or the neutron star that makes the sound of knocking uh, so we're going to listen to this in a s for a second. This is what the sun sounds like. through the ice rings of Saturn. This is a highly now, this condensed is... clump of neutral matter spinning in the distant universe. This is very important because this is what, what the Quran is kind of talking about. That something in the sky that's literally knocking and as you can hear the knocking sound is constant there. And uh, this is a star that has now become a neutron star. And the other sound that's also making the same thumping noise in the universe is the black holes as you'll hear. Uh, so let me just put this back for a second here and you can listen to this sound again And then, uh, I hope you heard that. I'll, I want to show that to you maybe one more time, and then we'll talk about the black hole.
and then uh, so and then also a najmut thaqib when it refers to and the uh, uh, bright star uh, it could also refer to the black hole because when the star collapses so a black hole used to be uh, a star so just keep that in mind and then this other uh, scientist is going to talk about that the sound the ringing sound or the knocking sound made by black holes see it's kind of faint but if you can see the red waves emanating out those are the gravitational waves they are literally the sounds of space ringing and they will travel out from these black holes at the speed of light as they ring down and coalesce to one and speed. also remember like i showed you in the beginning one of the meanings of taraka is qara which means to ring as you can see over here, okay. So just keep this in mind. Think quiet black hole at the end of the day. If you were standing near enough, your ear would resonate with the squeezing and stretching of space. You would literally hear the sound. Now, of course, your head would be squeezed and stretched unhelpfully, so you might have trouble understanding what's going on. <laughs> but um, I'd like to play for you the sound uh, that we predict. This is from my group, a slightly less glamorous um, computer modeling, but imagine a lighter black hole falling into a very heavy black hole. The sound you're hearing is a light black hole banging on space each time it gets close. If it gets far away, it's a little too quiet, but it comes in like a mallet, and it literally... Now, if you notice, she uses the word banging, which, again, if you go over here, and you look at the word taraka, one of the word is taraba, with that, uh, meaning to hit, and to hammer, and to chop, and to slug. Um, so that also includes those meanings. Cracks space, wobbling it like a drum, and we can predict what the sound will be. We know that as it falls And in, she it uses faster. the word drum, and if you go back to the dictionary again, you'll see under taraka, you find the word percussion, like the way you bang on something. So that's also there. It gets louder, and eventually we're going to hear the little guy just fall into the bigger guy. You see the banging, the hitting? Gone. Now, I've never heard it that loud. It's actually more dramatic. At home, it sounds kind of anticlimactic. It's like ding, ding, ding. Um, this is uh, another sound from my group. Now, I'm not showing you any images because black holes don't leave behind helpful trails of ink, and space is not painted showing you the curves. But if you were to float by in space on a space holiday and you heard this, you, you want to get moving. I want to get away from the sound. Both black holes are moving. Both black holes are getting closer together. In this case, they're both wobbling quite a lot. And then they're going to merge. Now it's gone. Now that chirp is very characteristic of black holes merging, that it chirps up at the end. Now, that's our prediction for what we'll see. Luckily, we're at this safe distance in Long Beach, California, and surely somewhere in the universe, two black holes have merged. And surely the space around us is ringing after maybe traveling a million light years or a million years at the speed of light to get to us. But the sound is too quiet for any of us to ever hear. There are very industrious experiments being built on Earth, one called so again, by the sky, and remember when I said sky, when it comes in singular, it used, means the universe that we live in, and not the six uh, heavens on top of this universe. So it usually means as sama dunya, or some scholars say no, when it's, when it's singular, it means the whole as one. So was sama wa tariq, so the sky and by its uh, and by its knocker. So those can be the black holes or the pulsars basically the stars that collapse and when they collapse they either become black holes or they become neutron stars and what will make you realize and understand the significance of these knockers because uh, realize because you will have knowledge of it but you will never really come to understand their significance 
and their uh, their magnitude. A najm thaqib. So the, it is a najm means star. So thaqib means piercing. So a piercing star, a bright star, and of course, uh, like for example, our sun can never become a black hole, which is also very interesting when you look at the Quran. The Quran does not give us an image of our sun collapsing and like sucking everything in, but rather gives us a weaker image of the sun, which is that the the earth and the moon and the sun will collide with one another, which is uh, a, a you know a result of a weaker gravitational pull. So, وَالسَّمَاءِ وَالطَّارِقِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الطَّارِقِ النَّجْمُ الثَّاقِبِ I hope, inshallah, you uh, appreciate these three verses and uh, think about these three verses and maybe do further research yourself. جزاكم الله خير and as alaykum.